Thanks for tapping in wherever you are. GMS. I want to send a big shout out to everyone who has subscribed so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and make sure that you hit that comment button. If you haven't checked out our latest episode, Not Enough Education in a Public School System, please make sure that you take a look. One of my main goals this year is just to grow as much as I can physically, mentally, and spiritually. It's my three things right there. I want to grow as much as I can, continue to work on my goals, set out an actual plan on how to reach my goals, because that's something that in the past, I haven't been, you know, too uh, and on top of. So this year, I really want to be on top of that. Actually, like writing stuff down and then give myself a timeline when I want the stuff to get done so that I'm creating momentum for the years to come. Because what I do this year affects, you know, next year and the year after that and the year after that. So mm. that's definitely uh, my main goal for this year. I like yeah, that. I like that. I like that. That's a fact. I'm going to tap into my, my creative side a little more. Um, mm -hmm. Just kind of step outside the box and, and mm -hmm. get out of the normal routine of my – get out of my daily routine a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Start writing more. Start, you know, creating content, whether it's videos, writing scripts, short films, stuff like that. Stuff that I'm interested in and have mm -hmm. been interested in just, you know, you find excuses where you're like, no, I don't got time or I don't have this. I don't have that. So I don't want, I'm not going to step into that yet. Um, but right now I'm just like, you know what, you know, no excuses, just get uncomfortable or whatever the situation is. So definitely want to get more creative. Um, I want this podcast to grow, you know, yeah, this is that's that's right. something I want to, <laughs> you know, just get as many subscribers as we can. Oh yeah, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, hit that like button. Go ahead and do that. Comment, you know, For sure. share, all of that, all that good all right. stuff. So yeah, just, just grow the brand, bro. Man, so, you know, piggybacking off of what Mel said, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel as well as follow us on social media platforms at g.m.s underscore grown man subjects. It was a very interesting year. You know, um, a lot of people, uh, you know, some people seen some lows, some people seen some highs, um, but it was very interesting. Um, and I think one of the one of the blessings was we were able to actually make this make this virtual podcast. You know, um, who knows if we would have been able to even do that if we wasn't under the same circumstances, you know. And that's one of the things that, you know, I, I, I really like. Because, you know, when you're faced with, you know, adversity, how do you react to it? You know, um, right. one of the text messages I sent out to my clients was control what you can control. We can't control this pandemic. We can't. Mm -hmm. But you can control how much energy you're putting into it. You know, um, you can control. Are you using it as an excuse or are you using this time to become a better version of yourself you know and you know talking about your creative side making short films like like that's dope like i don't know if you guys watching like i hope that you guys are you know having people who you are surrounded by that you know you can draw a positive energy from and they can inspire you to prosper and you know just do your best to better yourself man um yeah. Last year, um, one thing that really helped me, and I kind of got off of it, was me going to therapy, um, and just and just and just talking to somebody, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually have a woman therapist, and I don't mind at all, you know, because if anything, I feel like she can give it to me from that opposite side of the spectrum. Right. I know we're supposed to be doing some marriage counseling, man. So, so yeah, man, I definitely want this 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 channel to blossom. Especially all them other channels I was seeing. I was seeing some <laughs> I was seeing some real weird channels where yeah. they got a hundred thousand views, ten thousand subscribers. I'm like, I know we could do better than this. You know what right. I'm saying? So right. <laughs> definitely hit that button, man. Definitely hit that. We all need to come together. I hate to use like corny cliches, but you know, I remember playing basketball and the coach will hold up a hand and they'll be like, you know what's more powerful? A fist. You know what I'm saying? And and that's how I feel about, you know, just society. And last year kind of proved that, you know, whether it was the uh, the uh, the the Black Lives Matter movements or um, just everybody dealing with the pandemic and people just kind of uh, uh, trying to be as responsible, responsible as they can to, you know, keep everybody safe. So uh, in the past, you know, we're, we're, we're brought into this world alone. We're going to go out alone. So there's a lot of selfishness just built into us uh 
mm-hmm. you know, just just by natural nature, you know what I mean? But uh, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, my philosophy, and, and I, I truly believe we're here to service other people. And I feel like last year really kind of proved that, you know, you got to help the person that's below you, you got to pull them up. And mm-hmm. the only way to do that is to kind of band together. We have to, we got to band yeah. together. So that was definitely one of the biggest things I, I took from last year. And, and definitely trying to take going forward. That's why we form stuff like this, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. What about you, G? What about you, G? Uh, yeah, just to say uh, off of what Mel said, I'm saying we got to come together. And uh, for myself, man, just uh, allow myself to be more comfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm. This podcast was something that I was definitely, like, uncomfortable with because I never did a podcast before. Mm-hmm. I worry about, man, am I going to like mess up my words or, you know, say something that sounds stupid? Oh, yeah. You know, cause I never did a podcast before. And if I want to let those negative thoughts, you know, go into my head, I probably wouldn't even be on here right now. It wouldn't even be called GMS. It'd be called <laughs> GMS. <laughs> That's a good one. So, uh, yeah. you know, man, just definitely being uncomfortable, be, uh, comfortable being uncomfortable. And just like uh, Mel said earlier, stepping up the boxing, you know, doing things that you uh, normally wouldn't do, trying yeah. new things, uh, taking the time to learn new skill sets, you know, doing the things that scare you. I love what Mike Tyson said during his fight. He said, anything that scares me, I do. And I was like, you know, that, that really resonated with me because people don't do a lot of things that scare them. Mm-hmm. But um, when you just take the things head on that scare you, you can really be successful in life, so. That's the biggest lesson I learned from 2020 just being more comfortable, beyond the comfortable. Man, that's a that's a big fact, bro. That's that's yeah. definitely a big fact. Um, I mean, like, you know, I, I definitely agree with both of y'all, man. Um, I would say, and and it, and it's and and everything that we're saying, man. Um, you can always apply it. You know, it's not like we 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 we're just saying this because it's the new year. Like, I had I have conversations with each of these men on like separately before we came to GMS, man. And I was just like, man, the conversations that we have are yeah. so parallel to what we are experiencing in society. And I truly believe that the conversations that we have needs to be recorded. The conversations that we have needs to be uh, downloaded, uh, put up, bookmarked. I feel as though like people need to be able to hear this, be able to see this, see what we look like, because I honestly feel like we speak for a lot of individuals who 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 think like us, you know, Mm -hmm. and I think that we can speak to a lot of the young generation as well, you know, Um, admitting, you know, just just telling people that you love them, you know, Um, I was I was I was I was talking to my boys, man, and uh like yo, like it don't have to take for somebody to pass away. It don't have to take somebody getting locked up. It don't have to take something like a life altering event for something to happen to someone. Especially, I'm talking to just males in general. For you to say that you love another man, it's nothing wrong with that because the same way you love your moms, you love your pops. You know what I'm saying? So. It's, 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 it's nothing wrong with expressing our emotions as men. And I know a lot of times we feel like I'm a man, so I don't need to show emotion. Nah. Even when you, even when, even in that statement right there, when you say I'm a man, I don't need to show emotions, you actually are showing emotion. You know what you're showing? You're showing pride. You're showing a right. big ass ego. And pride in an ego is a form as, of an emotion. So we show emotion all the time. Now, we just may not know how to handle them. You know what I'm saying? I need that. Um, we need to chop that up. We gotta chop that up. That's that's for real, man. Yeah. <laughs> for yeah, real, that's bro. Real. That's real. You know, so I mean, I think about like yeah. you know, maybe like the friendships that I had in the past, maybe would I I may have could have continued them if my pride, uh, his ego, or whatever the case may be, wouldn't have been in the way. Mm-hmm. You never know. But as men, man, and especially as as black men, and again, we can only speak as black men because that's the only thing that we experience is being a black man. We always have this extra chips on our shoulders. Instead of on one, it's on both of them, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, it's 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 nothing wrong with it's not the wrong with you know displaying your emotions. You know, it, it don't make you more of a female. And to also being true to yourself, being. 
exactly. just honest with yourself. Because, gee, I, I mean, I've had the same reservations. I'm not the most articulate guy in the world, it's like at all. I, we, I come from the streets, you know. <laughs> but you learn to adapt. We, we, we grow over time. You know what I mean? Right. And we try not right. to let those things that held us down in the past hold us down in the future. You know, it's one mm-hmm. of the things where we just continue to move forward. So, yeah, that's that's really all I want to say is. You know, we all just con- continuing to grow. And honestly, that is going to, that's the true definition to me of a man is that constant mm-hmm. growth. Mm-hmm. You know, you can have all the pride in the world. You could be stubborn, all of that. But are you growing? Are you helping the people around you grow? Are you, are you holding on to them same things that held your parents down? Or are you mm-hmm. growing from them to teach your mm-hmm. kids to grow from them or teach even the people around you again, like I said, to grow from them? That's, mm-hmm. To me, that's what it comes down to. Love talking to these men, man, because we have real conversation. Even in a text message, it's, it's just different, man, when, you know, you you have people who you know is honest with you, regardless of what you want to hear, they're going to tell you what it is, you know? One of the best things about this virtual podcast that we're doing is we don't talk about sports in every episode. That's the that's like one of the dopest Great. things ever. <laughs> that's like one of the dopest things ever because, one, because I just feel as though, especially being a black man, what are we always known for? Athletics. Oh, yep. wow. They can run. Oh, wow. They can jump. Oh, wow. They can dribble and blah, 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 blah. Right. But we don't, we don't, we don't get a lot of credit for being able to hold our composure, being able to be articulate. We don't get a lot of praise for being able to handle ourselves in a business fashion. You know, especially when it comes to having conversation, we don't have to curse on this pod. We don't have to curse on here. How many people you know that they can't even get through a sentence without an f bomb or yeah. without a shit? You know what I'm saying? So the fact that we can be up here, have a conversation like grown men, and we speak about some real stuff. Not saying that sports isn't real stuff. But it's yeah. more to life than just basketball, football, mm-hmm. baseball. It's more to life than just sports. Mm-hmm.